Hey guys, I just want to do a review on my on my iron maple wood bat. It's like um yeah, just a maple wood bat that I got from Dick's Sporting Goods. Something kind of slight because I'm gonna get my new Andrew McCutcheon Marucci or my new Marucci like the ones with the black barrels and the natural stain handles. Uh, first I would like to say that. This bat is really like iron because I hit with this bat all off season and almost before every game to like warm up because it's 32 inches, 29 ounces to drop three. And for some guys it's too heavy, but I like the way it feels in my hands and how it feels as it's going through the zone. I use it in two games and I got two base knocks in both and an RBI in one. It has really well when I'm using it, it doesn't really have that much sting. But as you can see the paint is coming off because I hit with it so much. And it's just starting to come off and fade a little bit. But this bag really is a beast. And it's very nice you can use it for high school or any type of league you play i'm like five ten five eleven i weigh like 140 pounds so it's a good size bat for me it's, it's really unloaded more than the xl1 in my previous video and it just has great pop you could pick these up well it has great pop when you hit it like about right there, which is a sweet spot on this bat. But if you hit the ball about right here, and then if you square it up like right there, it might hurt a little bit. But I think I'm a more advanced hitter, and it doesn't really happen to me that much. But I put some Eastern grip that's really terrible, unlike the lizard skin. That the first game I used it in an indoor tournament in a dome in Rosemont, Illinois. Um, the guys wasn't really throwing that hard. I was putting in some good swings, but the grip is like coming off, so I don't recommend Easton back grip. I recommend lizard skin. That's really beautiful and, and it feels nice. Um, this bat is uh it had it's cupped, which I don't really know what it means when it's cupped like that. You can find these at Dick Sporting Goods, if you have like a local store or you can look on their website, they have them up. Yeah, they still have them. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it about this video. I recommend using batting gloves if you don't have grip because it could leave you with blisters on your hands and start scarring you and either bust your hands open. Like I have bust my hands open without batting gloves or grip. But yeah, just use, I recommend you use those two while you're using this bat. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you.